Well, here we are back at the Groton Sportsman Club uh, on the rifle range this time. I tried to put the uh, pistol range on pause, but I think I ran all the time, so this may want to be two videos. But anyway, uh, this 100 yard range, and uh, aren't those ball colors pretty? Anyway, I'll get set up and we'll put a few rounds through the rifle and uh, call it a day. This is a shooting shed. Here we go, disturb the peace on this one. Beautiful warning. Got your ears on. <laughs> I didn't have mine on. Why are you hitting them? Well. The dirt, the dirt's flying what I want, so I think we're good. I lay the side of this thing. 7 mm. Yep. Nice weapon. Nice weapon. That's good. Shot two deer, so. Yep. Hey, Maine, that's a trick. Yeah. See, deer usually deer. Every, every Thursday they mow here. Oh, okay. Every Thursday. But you can feel it with yard range. They don't do much over there. The 300 yard range is going generally over. You, usually, unless they put a sign up, that you're usually going to go. But that doesn't affect the uh, skeet range at all. No, they, yeah, everything. They're nothing, everything's going down. No, but the 300 yard range doesn't impact on the skeet range, no. No, I've never, I've never shot over there, so. Yeah, it's okay. It's, yeah. Uh, they have targets that. Uh, 
hundred and two hundred? Two hundred and three hundred. Two hundred and three hundred. Not a hundred. Okay. Two or three. Okay. The long hike down. They get new bridges. So. Yeah. Just but the thing thing is they've got metal plates. Okay. So I just shoot the metal plates, I don't even shoot the target. Right. I can shoot the metal plate at three hundred, I give a shit less about the target. Because yeah, you, you, you can't see it at 300 yards anyway, you'd have to have a screen on. Yeah. 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 This thing's like This great. Yeah, I got a, I got a 300 Winchester mag. It's about the same as some of them. the same as the boy. This is too much. No, nah, not really. It's it's, okay. It's too much for deer. I get a, I had a small deer uh, five years ago. So I dressed out about 130. I got to think 50 feet in the air on this thing. Just right up, right up, right up the I went in Vermont in the early morning and was walking by the swamp. It was cold. And I hit it and I could see the spray go on the other side of it as it went through. And it just come over. Yeah. yeah no, you don't have to go looking for them. No, this thing's not right where. Yeah, there's, there's no, but the thing is, there's no wounded, wounded animal. No. You hit him with this at 300, they're done. Yeah. Boom. Other guys are 306, they keep running, they can't find them. But these, it's instant. Yeah. Instant death. They never knew, they never heard the sound. <laughs> Which, I mean, I'd rather just shoot it and see it all day and that's it. Then I know I've got it. Uh, Remember years ago hunting in Maine with a 30-30? Shit, you spend the next next part of the day looking for them. For them yeah. I'm going like, yeah, I don't need that crap, you know? Yeah. All right, have a good day. Hey, enjoy it. Yeah. I'm Bill, by the way. Uh, what, the door closed? No, no, I'm, no, my name is Bill Walsh, by the way. I, I, oh, oh, I, I'm a life member here. Me too. I uh, I used to teach the hunter safety courses up here with Bob Van Boomer and Freddie Wall. Oh, yeah, Bob, yeah, Bob, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All those guys. Yeah. So, I don't get up here much anymore. So I, I, would, I would call Bob with a with, 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 uh, Perry Pitt, George Fitch. Oh, yeah, no. He, he, he used to teach the uh, traffic part of that. Oh, yeah, he's a good person. But uh, the meeting back then, the guys were swearing, cursing, yelling, screaming. Sure. But now that we have women members and they go to a meeting, yeah. oh yeah. What? Yeah. And they bitch, I said, no, you get the girls to be good. And the kids on a Sunday morning, everything is done, boom, boom, boom. I said, girls are a good thing. I mean, uh, the guys fought up for a long time, but I go, you know what? I said, uh, girls are good. And they, uh, no, they, uh, but the meeting is completely changed. It used to be a piss and screaming match. No more. Yeah. You're regular. So you wouldn't believe it's the same clubhouse. I was like, no, I came out one time when I bought my son here, and uh, I said, what are you doing? What is this? Everyone's quiet. Everybody says, yes, sir. You know, I'm <laughs> calm, calm down. Yeah, yeah. you're done. Yeah, yeah we, Paul and he was a good president. Now John Stevens is there. And we've had some good guys come in and do some good work. And, and I still reload my, my, my 300 Winchester bag and stuff. I have a friend of mine, and all he does is reload. He's got the entire state cop in Massachusetts. I get the ammo, and I have a boy a box of shells. No, I have it. But reloading is expensive, little proposition, too. Oh, yeah, no, it I, can I, be very expensive. I, I did it for a while, and uh, I still got all stuff to the cellar. It's all constantly down. And, uh, yep. But, yeah, you, yeah, but it got to the point where you couldn't find the powder. You couldn't find the powder. No. You know, it get to be it really get to be a yeah. you know a problem. Yeah. So uh, you know, but the ale was not cheap. These things go for 30, 40 bucks a box yeah, or better. Yeah, you know, but I don't. But how often do you shoot? I, I mean, don't, I, you know, I think I've had this box. Uh, this is the last half of this round. So I've had that box for 15 years. I got a box on the side written 1974. <laughs> <laughs> I was younger then. Yeah. After the hunting season, you just take the rounds out of your pocket and put them back in the box. Go right back in the safe. Yeah. I, I come out, take one shot, make sure I can hit the metal plate goes from it. Yeah. That's it. I don't, I don't go any further. But a friend of mine I hunted with was a Marine Corps sniper that I a good friend with for years in the service. And he, 7 mm is this thing. I see him take a partridge head right off at yeah. about 75 yards. Yeah. Oh, he was a good I, guy. I got this gun. Uh, it was uh, on consignment up at the old, in Milltown. Cabetas? Cabetas, yeah. yeah. It was on the it was on the rack. They have these brands. It was got Lupo uh, Barry S39, and uh, I gave him 530 bucks for the whole. You stole it. The whole I stole it. Yeah. So, and the guy told me, "Stole it for it." Prospect. I stop all the time and look in and see. Next thing you know, boom, the sailor went. 
But the when Cabela's, when they opened, uh, no, it was well, right before Cabela's. I have no idea what happened. Family, that. family problems. I think so. Yeah. But yeah, sometimes the the, you know, the father owns it, and they die, and the kids get involved, yeah. and they yeah. back and forth with each other. It's all greed. But no. it was. Uh, it was that's the nice. Thing. I like that it place. Was almost, it was almost overnight that, that place went down. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, just like they closed the doors on Friday afternoon, and it was over. Get off the seat with the Red Dog Saloon. Yes. And then that little guy that had all the shit hanging out there, yep. I used to get a kick out of it. I've seen bears over by the reservoir. It's early in the morning, they come down off of that, you know, heading to West Palm. I've seen a couple of bears go through there over the years. A lot of deer in there by the, where the water is, you know. But Cabanas was, I like the place. Very yeah. clean, very up front. Shorter drive than the Hoffman's was shorter than the uh, well, Cabela's to me. I live in Plot. I don't like Cabela's. I don't know. Well, they, that's not their, that's not one of their good stores. They're, uh, that's one of their small stores. Yeah. They don't they, they don't have the stuff stock. No. And I noticed that I went like like I just as soon go up to Massachusetts, go up to a Bass Pro Shop. Right. Rich, Richport's crazy place to drive to. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. that's the nice. The traffic is horrendous, but uh, well. I guess Bass Pro now owns Cabela's uh, anyway. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. But I got more shit now than I can ever use. My uncle's stuff, my wife's uncle's stuff, my father got guns up the yin hall or something. I, I, I got I to get my guns again. I thought about 10 years ago I walked, I took pictures of them. Yep, take them out here. Each one, uh, that's the whole front run. And now I got to take it. After the war, I got to add to that. So I don't know. That's OK. Hey, Have a good day. Have a good weekend. Enjoy the day. Take care. Well, we're sorry about the old timers history lesson and uh, rock and roll revival show, but uh, got some shooting in and uh, next stop is uh, mid middle of Maine and uh, Milford. So until then, or after that, whenever, we'll see you later. Hasta la vista, baby.